Inco Design Life is a powerful CAE fatigue and durability analysis tool that works with leading FE codes to produce realistic estimates of fatigue life. Here's the ENCODE application, with menus on the far left, available data in the white area, the workspace in the middle, and glyph palettes to the right, each of which contains a number of glyphs. The available data can be dragged out onto the workspace. Let's take a look at an FE model. We can display it graphically, maximize the glyph, and manipulate the model by swiveling, zooming, and panning. We can access the properties of any glyph by double clicking on its banner. This opens a property editor which allows us to configure the glyph. In this example, we'll display the stress results from one of the FE load cases. If we minimize this glyph, we'll be able to continue building a process. This process will perform stress life fatigue calculations. Therefore, we'll need to drag an SN analysis glyph onto the workspace. We can also drag in some measured load histories that will be used to describe the cyclic environment. Just like the FE model, this data can be displayed and maximized. This measured data contains three channels of load, one in the X, one in the Y, and one in the Z. Each of these channels will be combined with each of the three load cases from the FE model. The remaining glyphs in this process will be used to display the fatigue results. The data value display will show tabular results, and the FE display will show a damage plot. There are a few properties that need to be defined before we can run the process. This includes defining the material, which is done by right-clicking on the SN analysis glyph and selecting the edit material mapping. This property editor allows you to drag a material from one of the installed libraries onto the FE model. ENCODE comes with several libraries, and they are also user-definable. In some cases, the loading will also require definition. This example has been automatically configured, but we can still take a look by right-clicking on the SN analysis glyph and selecting the edit load mapping. This property editor shows the FE load cases in the upper left, the channels of the load histories in the lower left, and how they're combined on the right. The Auto Configure option paired everything correctly since the load cases and channels were sequential. In some cases, this option needs to be turned off so the pairing can be done manually. The next step is to click the Run button to perform fatigue calculations and generate results. The damage plot can be maximized and manipulated just like the FE model to better view the graphical results. This display glyph has properties like any other glyph, and double clicking on the banner can access them. The result type drop down menu allows the user to select what will be displayed. By default, damage is displayed. However, life can also be selected, which is inversely related to damage. The tabular results will display a row for every node and different types of results in each column. This includes things like damage, life, and the dominant stress direction. These results have been pre-sorted by highest damage first. If you look at the first value in the life column, you'll see the critical node is predicted to have a fatigue failure in 3 million repetitions of the loading history. This concludes our quick video introduction to Design Life. For further assistance, you can find help in a number of places within ENCODE. Help is available on individual properties for every glyph. PDF documents are also included with every install that cover topics such as theory guides, glyph references, and worked examples. Lastly, you can visit our website at hpm.com/encode.